Good morning, Woman Industries. Our topic today is cold and work. Employees can learn the following. Recognize the hazards and symptoms of exposure to cold. Know how to prevent and respond to cold exposures. What application or requirement falls under general duty on our OSHA? Frostbite. Body tissue may freeze when the skin's exposed to the extreme cold or touches of a, a very a cold object. The nose, ears, cheeks, fingers, and toes are your greatest risk. Worst cases can cause permanent tissue damage and movement to the affected parts, possibly unconsciousness or even death. Uh, damage can be greater if the body's thawed than refrozen, believe it or not. Hyperthermia, exposure to cold, may send body temperatures to dangerous levels. It may occur in above freezing temperatures when it's windy and or you're exhausted or wearing wet clothing. Worst case scenario, could be unconsciousness up to uh, death. Factors that increase the risk, age, overweight, smoking, drinking, certain medications, allergies, poor circulation, Victims' failure to recognize symptoms in the first place and take the prompt action. Reducing risk of exposure. Avoid bathing, smoking, drinking alcohol before getting in cold temperatures. Wear layers of loose, dry clothing. If possible, wear wool underneath and waterproof layer on top. Always cover hands, feet, face, and head. Uh, an uncovered head can lose up to 40% of the heat. Change or get dry immediately if clothes get wet. Keep moving while working in the cold. Take regular breaks if your company allows for that woman. Move to warm and when you start to feel very cold and numb, have a warm, alcohol-free, caffeine-free drink. Recognize frostbite and hyperthermia symptoms. Include the following. Feeling extremely cold, then numb, with possible tingling, aching, or even brief pain. White or grayish yellow glossy skin, which may blister. Confusion, feeling eyesight or shock uh, as the condition progresses. Hypothermia symptoms include chills, shivering, numbness, and sometimes pain in the extremities, slurred speech, uh, poor coordination, confusion. Respond quickly and correctly to frostbite or hypothermia symptoms. Act immediately when symptoms develop to prevent serious problems. Move to a warm place. Reduce frozen, wet, or tight clothes when, while warm clothes or blankets. Drink a warm beverage without alcohol or caffeine. Get medical help if necessary. Take first aid actions for frostbite. Warm the frozen part immediately with blankets or warm, not hot water, not hot water. Or avoid touching the frozen part or even rubbing it or hitting it in any way. Keep the frozen part away from the hot stoves, heat lamps, or hot bottles for that matter. Don't break blisters or drink anything with caffeine. Exercise the body part when it's warm, once it gets warm, but don't walk on frostbite feet. Take first aid measures. Cover victim with blankets and, a, and lie next to the person to give body heat. Don't give hot baths or use electric blankets or hot water bottles. Keep the person awake and give artificial respiration if it's needed. Get emergency help as a last resort if that is really needed to avoid uh, unconsciousness. Uh, that's my message today. I want to conclude with this. In the last couple of weeks, I have seen numerous people absolutely ill-prepared for the cold. And I don't care where you work, what you do, you got to think ahead. If you don't have the right clothing on, if you don't have the right clothing, not only on, but in our vehicles to protect us if, if and when the time is needed, along with extra clothes, that's when we can all get in trouble. So that's why I gave this message today. You got a future message, please let your leadership know, especially John, and he'll get it to me. But until the next time, I want to close by wishing all of you an absolute healthy, great, and safe new year. Until next time, 
Take care, everyone. Bye now.